Okay, hi folks. Uh, in my last video, some people mentioned that they wanted to see how to get a body and face connected and working together properly with head rotation and all that good stuff without sequencer, maybe just a, a crowd of metahumans hanging out doing their thing. And I do have that happening here. This is just a guy standing around doing his thing and uh, playing back some metahuman animator animation. Can't tell, look at the tongue. <laughs> okay, let's do this with uh, another one then just to go through the whole process. So I'm going to grab one of my 5.2 properly upgraded metahumans. Here's Zen, drag them into the scene, reset their position. And body is going to be pretty straightforward. So if we've already gone and retargeted and done all the things we did in the previous animation, that should be fine. So I'll go ahead and for body instead of animation blueprint, I'm just going to say animation asset and I'll set it to looping and playing and all that kind of stuff. And I could use idle. I already got idle on my guy over here. So I'll try that uh, fall loop one just to mix things up a bit here. And if I go to simulate up, oh, there goes the hair because it's probably not available at lower LODs, but we can see, okay, without any face, the head is already attached and that's fine. But what if we want to get one of our lovely animations playing on here? This part isn't quite as straightforward because we if we just go over here and change animation blueprint to animation asset and we grab one of our animations like the one that we know came from the control rig head rotation working from control rig. We already see there's trouble in paradise here. And if I press simulate, then yes, this isn't good at all. And I could even try going and hitting face and doing disable post process blueprint. And uh, nope, that doesn't help either. So yeah, we don't want this. I mean, I don't know, maybe you want this. I don't want this. Um, that's not where I want to be at all. So we'll get out of there. Uh, let's go to face and change instead of use animation asset. We want to keep using our animation blueprint, but we do actually want to have that checkbox for disable post process blueprint. Um, I'm, I'm just going to demonstrate what happens if we leave that unchecked just so you have that. Uh, available to you as as knowledge, but then we will hit that to get everything working. So what I'm actually going to do is we want this animation blueprint because this is what actually go ahead goes ahead and connects the body to the base properly. So if I go ahead and open up Zen over here, what we want to do is we want to start an animation plane, likely an animation montage um, coming off of the face. And we could do this, you know, down here with when animation initializes, for example, or begin play. Um, it shouldn't really matter. We can go ahead and say play montage. And then all we need is to make a montage, which you don't have by default. We can't just use our regular um, animation assets here. So what we can do with the first here is we know we're going to be using face so we can connect face to here. But then to get a montage, we're going to have to go and find one of the animations that we created with MetaHuman Animator and convert it to a montage. So I'll go to animations and I'll find the one that we did uh, working from control rig. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to say create animation montage. Just right click, create, create animation montage. And I'll call this AM for animation montage head rotation working take one or whatever, whatever we want there. And of course, we open this up and montages look just like um, a regular animation. But these are great for when you want to blend from one animation to another. If you wanted to set up some really dynamic AI behavior for characters moving around, uh, montages would be the way to do that. Now, by default, this won't loop. It'll play once and then it'll be done. And you might recall over in the blueprint here, there is not a loop check mark or anything like that. So we actually want to set that over here in the montage itself. And so what we want to do is we want to hit the loop checkbox up here. But even then, that actually won't be enough to make it loop. We now want to go and click on uh, default. And weirdly, I want to hit stop. <laughs> and now what it's actually doing is setting this to loop. I don't know why hitting stop is what actually makes this work. I found this totally by accident, but we'll now see that this should work fine. So now back over in Zen, we've got a montage. We've got the one we just made. Take one, play rate 1.0, starting position zero. These are all things we could start to mess with if we wanted to. And then we don't need to do anything with these outputs because now it will blend. Though again, you know, if we had a few different exciting montages to play, maybe in a row, maybe triggered by different kinds of branch events, you know, this could all uh, loop quite nicely into itself. But this should be fine. So we're just in our blueprint for a metahuman. We're telling the face to play a montage. We're still keeping the same um, face animation that we'd already been working with. 
and now it should almost work, except I don't have disable post process blueprint set up. So watch this. So there we go, it kind of pops out. Like it looks like it's gonna work for a second and then it pops out. If I do go ahead and try to hit disable post process blueprint now, that should work. And if for some reason that doesn't work for you, just make sure you go ahead and um, do it when you're not in simulate mode. And a reminder too, if you ever do anything while in play mode and you wanna keep that behavior, just make sure you right click and you say that you want to keep simulation changes, which is also done with the K key. So that way when we come out, it'll remember that we wanted to uh, keep that going. And by the way, we don't need to be in simulate mode to see all this happening. You can actually just hit use live link body there. And that's basically the equivalent of what with a normal mannequin or skeletal mesh would be update animation in editor, which funnily enough with metahumans, um, you can't actually manually do anything with this. So there's actually another little blueprint. There's a little trick that I used to do with metahumans, which is now uh, standard for metahumans that is able to go ahead and activate both the face and the body when you have that checkbox on. So I can do the same thing over here. And there we go. We've got two characters active. Although, oh, that's interesting. The uh, the face isn't moving here. I wonder why. Aha, it's because with this guy, I had connected the montage to on begin play, whereas down here, I could just do it down here. And I think that'll activate it. There it is. Yeah. Okay, I hope that was helpful and uh, see you next time.